right, so my name is Claire Alexander Johnston. I'm going to be your MC for today. I am mother of four, master of none. <laughs> I am. Um, I feel particularly passionate about this one today. Every every month we have a spotlight on a particular issue. Last month was a really fun one. Who was it last last month's one? That was great. It was music. It was a spotlight on on the music industry and on the creative arts. So it was a real good one. Now this one today is also a bit of a holding up, but it's um slightly more closer to my heart, let's say. And it is about the children. And it is about the vaccine mandates for the children. And so the spotlight today, and every speaker that's going to be up here today, is going to be speaking to that in some way or form. And we have an incredible lineup for you all. All the speakers are going to be speaking for about five minutes, and um, it's my job to rugby tackle them off the stage if they go over five minutes. So do not be alarmed if I come flying out of the wings. That's, that's just me doing my job. Um, but to kick this off, we have some great friends of mine who are completely incredible. Um, this is a power couple um, and their combined Instagram and Facebook and gossip column inches would rival every single A-lister um, in Australia today. Uh, they're courageous, impossibly gorgeous and the founders of Families for Freedom and Heal in the Home. They are speakers and facilitators of medical freedom and advocates for parents all around Australia and internationally. These two believe in taking radical responsibility for your own health and happiness with a focus on preserving the family unit so that we can raise children who are free from intergenerational trauma and free to emotionally thrive. Together, they are disruptors who are taking action towards a higher vision for humanity. So please put your hands together for the very fabulous Tay and Frankie Winterstein. Hey family, how's everyone today? Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, we're a long way from home, originally from Sydney, but we've moved a bit closer to here. Uh, but yeah, it's just really an honour just to stand in front of you guys and walk alongside you guys shortly um, in this mission, in this goal, you know, to protect our kids. Yeah. Right now, you know, Voices for Kids is so important and, you know, kids love stories, so I thought today I'll tell a little story. Uh, this story is about two little boys, two little vaccine-free boys who have grown up not knowing what preschool was, not knowing what kindergarten is because they're not allowed to enter these premises. So their parents created a whole new world for them. Their parents decided to cultivate and encourage other like-minded families to step forward to create a beautiful community. And just so you don't know, if you haven't guessed already, this story is about us. Hey. Our boys are completely vax free, you know, we don't see any local GPs, they've never been to the doctor, all we trust is our chiropractor, our naturopath, our homeopath, and my beautiful wife here, full of knowledge. We have supplements, we eat, you know, fresh produce, we really uh, cherish nutrition and hydration, and most importantly, the love that we cultivate in our own home. Uh, our boys just look up to us, all they know is us. Uh, so if we're not on par, then our boys feel that. They feel all the energy. So we've got to make sure as husband and wife, as partnership, as you know, we, we enter this world, we make sure that our vibe is always high and our boys always feel that love. So I'm really encouraging all the families out there, especially the ones um, with five to 11 year olds, obviously with this new bull crap that's gone on recently, I, I really encourage you guys just to take radical action. And for, the, for um, that might look like for you, taking your kids out of school, trying homeschooling, you know, we're currently homeschooling our boys. It's a tough gig, yes. But you know what? As a parent, you always say, you do anything for your kids. Well, I'm telling you right now, now's that time. Do something for your kids that you won't regret. Um, yeah, I might leave it there because wife has got to speak and I don't want Claire to come tackle me. But um, just thank you so much for showing up. Honestly, it, it is the hardest gig just showing up, putting yourself in the arena, putting yourself out there. You, you feel like... The whole world is against you, but trust me, look around you. This is your family, this is your community. We're all here together, and we're all going to fight to the end. Thank you. Hey, everyone.
everyone, it's so beautiful to be in a new rally location. We're usually in Sydney, um, but it's really, really beautiful to see that no matter where we go, there is literally community always, and we always run into people, we always get stopped. Please never think that you are alone in this because you are not. It's so important, especially this year, um, that we really start to ground in community and actually move away from the fight or flight mode that we have been operating from for the last two years. Um, when I thought about what I wanted to say today, um, it actually, something came through for me and it was really different. It wasn't the usual fiery, like passionate, feisty mama bear that I am. It was actually something really um, for the mothers really because I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> Um, this rally is really, um, we're a very emotionally invested rally, specifically this one. And um, I'm pregnant, <laughs> I'm hormonal, <laughs> I'm very emotional and I have baby brains, so I'm actually going to read something off my phone, which I never usually do, but my kid's about to have a meltdown over there. <laughs> it's hot, I'm just going to go with what I know. Um, this is something that I wrote, and it is for the mums, and um, like I said, 2022 is not another year that we operate from fight or flight mode or prioritizing the cause over tending to our kids and our own homes. What is happening in, amongst your own four walls is where the most important advocacy work is right now, right in front of you, asking for your attention. The kind of advocacy that will last beyond six to 12 months. It will last many generations to come because our children will be the ones to continue to live this legacy and lead by example because they have learnt from us. But what I don't wish for my kids to learn from us is how to sacrifice your emotional well-being for the movement. I don't wish for my kids to learn how to betray themselves and their sacred boundaries because they felt they always needed to fix or fight for something. Because if I'm really to be a voice for the kids, I have to ask myself, what do my kids need right now? And what they need is a present, joyful, and nourished mother. <laughs> what my kids need right now is a present, joyful, and nourished mother. The world needs more mothers who are in alignment and who are advocating sustainably so that it doesn't come at the cost of your own kids. <sighs> When the mothers are thriving, the collective thrives. When the mothers are nourished, the collective is nourished. And when the mothers are energised, the collective is energised. So I encourage parents now to step out of the fighting energy and anything that is dysregulating your nervous system, which impacts how you be and how you enjoy your life right now. Because yes, we can be a stand for the kids who can't stand for themselves right now. And yes, we can be a voice for the voiceless. And yes, we can continue to stand strong in our truth. And we can do that also from a fulfilled, loving and energetic space. We have an incredible opportunity now to not only create, but live a life where our babies will always belong and they will always know truth, love, sovereignty and freedom. It is time. So please, I encourage you to move away from scarcity and trust that what we have done together and what we continue to do today is more than enough to secure every single victory. Thank you. Yeah.